Welcome to a wild ride through the world of hyperinflation. Today, we'll talk about the strange idea of inflation, what causes it, and the fantastic stories of Germany and Venezuela, where people had to push around wheelbarrows full of money. We'll also take a look at the current situation in the US and the country's attempts to print too much money. So fasten your seatbelts and get ready for an adventure. But first hit the like button to support the channel. It's free. No inflation here. What is inflation, anyway? Imagine you live in a magical place where the prices of everything go up every year. That's what inflation looks like. Inflation is the sneaky process by which prices of goods and services slowly rise, making your hard-earned money worth less. It's like a naughty fairy spreading fairy dust that makes your money worth less. Now, let's jump into the crazy world of making money as much as you want. In most countries, the government decides how much money is available and can make more money whenever they want. It's like having a magic machine that makes money. But if they make too much money, it could cause some bad things. Imagine this. In the 1920s in Germany and the last few years in Venezuela, things happened that no one could have imagined. Hyperinflation was common because governments printed money like there was no tomorrow. After World War I, the German government made lots of money out of thin air to pay off bills. What happened? Prices went up at a crazy rate, and people's life savings were no longer worth anything. It was like a crazy ride on the money that made everyone feel sick. Pictures show people taking a wheelbarrow full of money to buy a loaf of bread. In Venezuela, a similar thing happened not too long ago. Prices went through the roof because of political and economic instability and uncontrolled money printing. People's bank accounts had nothing in them, and they didn't have enough money to buy food. Let's now turn our attention to the United States. Even though the US does not have hyperinflation like Germany or Venezuela it has been printing money at a rate that has never been seen before. To help companies and people through hard times, the government has been giving out stimulus packages and putting a lot of money into the economy. But there is a catch. If too much money comes into the economy, it can lead to inflation. Prices increase when more money is spent on the same amount of goods and services. If the inflation rate gets too high, it can hurt people's ability to buy things and make the economy less stable. Even though the thought of wheelbarrows full of cash might be funny. Hyperinflation is a real problem that has terrible effects on people and economies. The situations in Germany and Venezuela show us how dangerous it can be to print too much money. In the United States, the government is balancing boosting the economy and stopping inflation from getting out of control. This means that the situation needs to be carefully watched. So, the next time you reach for your wallet, remember that you might need a wheelbarrow if the inflation fairy decides to print a lot of money. Remember that it's important to balance a stable economy and the magical appeal of the money printing machine. Keep your wallets full and your wheelbarrows empty until we meet again. If you found this video helpful and you learned something click the like button, subscribe, and turn on the notification so you know when more good information about how money comes your way.